Hey guys, and welcome to this review of the Power Ranger Beast, Mo Beast Morphers. Uh, basically, the mainline Ranger figures that they're that they're releasing. I'm really glad that they decided to like. I'll do the size comparison later on, but it's still you know relatively within uh, the same size as the other ones that we that I mean, if you've been collecting that I have at least, they're not super tiny like the I was about to say Ghost Ranger, but you know what I mean, the the Mega Force ones that we had, which I still like, but this was just. Those are basically Lego minifigures when compared to these. Here's the size comparison. I know I have a lot of figures here, and I only really put XA just to kind of like show him off because I, I like I like this figure. I, I don't, that's like this is my latest edition. But anyway, so here's the f the I guess six inch figure, five inch, six inch. I don't even know how tall honestly. Here's the Ranger King compared to it. Uh, all the other I was gonna put all the other figures near here, but they're all the same size, so you get the point. But here's the more uh, Ranger Key. So you see, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm I'm afraid that it's gonna topple everything over, but whatever. I'll set, stand them up here. The four-inch figure that I was talking about, uh, five-inch figure of uh, McDonald's kind of <laughs> themed form from uh, Dino Charge. The SH figure art of Red Buster or Red Ranger, I should say, and a six-inch. I honestly, I'm bad with sizes, but anyway, the Legacy. Uh, line cycle red so you can see that these two are about the same height this is a bit shorter but obviously more possible it's an SH figure, SH figure art so you know you get what you pay for 10 bucks about five times or six times the price and then just another SH figure that I just wanted to show off but there's a quick size comparison before I go over those let me just go over the keys real quick I don't want to topple them over again like I said before uh, in the Morpher review and other reviews I really really like the key designs all of these I really like. Like, yeah, Tronic is kind of basic, but it's like, what can you do? The rest of them, I honestly really, really like the key designs. But here it is. It's kind of hard to, like, move out, especially the Blaze one for me, for some reason. But here's the red one, as you can see. Not that bad. I, like I said, I really, really like the design that they did for this. I'm not going to pull out the keys for all of them except for Blaze. Here's, uh, I guess, Blue Rangers. Morphex key. Yellow Ranger, looking good. Again, kind of has a squished face, but regardless, I still like the design. Tronics and Blaze, which Blaze? I don't know if you can tell by me doing it, but this one's the hardest for me to take out. So there we go. And also, if you really want to, you could display them this way, if you really want to do that, or just display them how they are in the thumbnail essentially just like that so those are the keys and here are the sounds uh, they make in the morpher key to beast power red let's go for a spin cruise key to beast power red rangers it's go time let's go unleash the beasts key to beast power red are you ready Say, it's Morphin time! Yeah, Tata! It'll make that noise for blue and yellow, so I'm not gonna do that for those. Blue Ranger power! Don't worry, Smash, I got this! Blue Ranger power! Rangers, it's go time! Let's go! Unleash the beasts! Blue Ranger power! Yeah, that's basically it. Jackrabbit beast power! Yellow! You messed with the wrong ranger! Jackrabbit beast power! Yellow! Rangers, it's go time! Let's go! Unleash the beasts! Jackrabbit beast power! Yellow! His sounds, you kind of already heard with the demo key that the morpher came with but i'm still gonna go over the transformation noise it makes that transformation noise it makes uh when you hit this button it's the same one it'll make for the tronics uh key i'm not a real human i'm much better i'm the better red ranger i'm not a real human i'm much better not today rangers i'm the better red ranger the morphex is mine I'm not a real human. I'm much better. Not today, Rangers. The Morphex is mine. Are you ready? 
say it's morphin time. It's morphin time. So like I said, it, it'll make that noise uh, for the transformation. So here that makes a kind of a different noise to the default noise with the Rangers, but that transformation when you hit this, it'll make the same noise with Tronix, so I won't go over that. Tronix, attack! The Morph X is mine! Tronix, attack! Not today, Rangers! The Morph X is mine! The Morph X is mine! Tronix, attack! Not today, Rangers! The Morph X is mine! The Morph X is mine! So those are the sounds that it makes, and now let me just go over the figures. So first, let me go over the main rangers. I'm just going to set these down because I feel like they're just going to topple over like, like that. I'll go over that in a bit. But here's Red Ranger for now. Let me just show you his weapons real quick. He comes with... I keep wanting to call it the Sheeta Blade Blaster, but it's the Beast Blaster. I don't know why I want to replace that with Blade, but there's an actual Blade toy. But here it is. It's decently painted. I don't know. You can kind of see. You can kind of see like a small dot there. They painted a little white. Or a li is it white? I think it's white. It looks white to me. But anyway, they painted some, like, something right there for his eyes, which is pretty cool. They painted, honestly, the most important details. So, there, so there's the... Beast Blaster. Let me just set that down over here. And each of them come with a sword. So they don't, these, these three don't come with the same weapon. I'll go over that, but at least all of them come with the sword. This is the side that's not mostly painted. It's just this little uh, blue part by the blade and the silver right here. And then the other side, that's mostly painted, where it's the blue right here and basically the handle and everything else. So there's Red Ranger's weapons. Here he is all in his glory oh i i got these uh as soon as i saw them i'm like oh let me go to target and see if they happen right away and they did and i just got them all right away they, i didn't even they were the only ones there so i didn't really have any option to get any other ones so the ones that i got have some quality of service errors i guess is what i'm looking for red ranger and you it's bad worse than the blue ranger but the side of his helmet you see this little scuff mark there so i mean i can live with all of these things I'm going to point out, but it's just something to be aware of when you're buying these. Maybe they'll be better later on because I got the first set, but there's that. One thing to note is that for all of these, it's the joints are hard to move. Like, it's tight, but it's pretty tight, and especially for yellow and uh, blaze, the elbow joint, I feel like I'm going to break it, but, you know, something to be aware of, like I said. And speaking of joints, uh, like I said has a uh, single elbow joint can rotate 360 swivel at the head and the neck is like pointed down a bit so like when you twist it it's just like he's like looking down almost not necessarily sideways that's kind of weird you can see it's kind of like tilted down but can't really move the head up and down no real waist can't move its legs that far though like a uh, like the uh, Smash uh, Beast Bot figure, it's kind of hindered by the butt flap. Can't really move his leg back past that. He has a single knee joint. Can't really only go that far. And can swivel nothing down here. So as for paint, uh, like I said, there's some minor discrepancies. But for the most part, it's painted pretty well. I honestly, the first thing I noticed, see, because there's some people who know more about Toku and stuff like that. So I... I'm like, oh, it looks pretty good, but like the first thing that I noticed was that like, oh, the the morpher right here on his little sling wasn't painted, and I honestly didn't realize until someone pointed out that his zipper right here isn't painted. So if anything, if you really want, you could go in with a silver sharpie or something and like make that out. But honestly, like it looked fine to me. This is like the one thing I noticed that wasn't really painted uh, detailed. They got all the major paint that they needed to. So like the the helmet, they didn't. I mean, as far as I can tell. It looks good to me. They didn't really skip out on uh, any paint for the helmet. It looks pretty good. So there it is. And then the morpher itself. They, they Again, they got all the detail they needed. It's, it does the job. They got the little yellow slash orange on the glasses, sunglasses part. 
and the dial itself. The back printed pretty well too. So that's really it. So again, the articulation for Red Range is the same for these two, but the villains are different for some reason. So there's red. And now I know it's kind of weird seeing them all laid out like this, but whatever. You know what? There we go. Now we have a main attraction. <laughs> so here's blue. Uh, again, he comes with a sword and a different weapon. He comes with the sword and the camera gun uh, combined. So as you can see on this side, the gun uh, form is painted like the little silver bits in the middle piece and the camera not so much. And then the other side is the less uh, painted part. So you see the paint discrepancies. It's a little silver splotch there. So here's the Blue Ranger. Again, detailed pretty good. Uh, like I said with the joints, If you heard that squeaking, it's just super... This one doesn't feel like I'm going to break as much, but the Yellow Ranger feels like I'm going to break. I'm just going over it again to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, these joints are pretty good, but Yellow is the one that kind of had trouble with. So here he is, all the detail that he has in his helmet too. Again, they did a pretty good job. I, I honestly really like uh, these figures. Overall, I like these figures. Like I said, the little paint discrepancy on the side of his helmet. So you see that little mark that you'll see in a bit when it focuses. There we go. And nothing on the other side. He does have like cut off. Like I don't know if you see that little strip of plastic right like underneath his helmet right there. There's that too. There's the blue ranger. And now on to the only female ranger of the group. Yellow ranger. So she comes with a sword that again has the same paint details as the other swords but she comes with the regular camera gun. It's kind of painted like you see the little silver there and the little blue there, but that's kind of it. I kind of wish, I honestly do wish these came, the sword and the gun came painted with more detail, but like I said, it gets the job done. It's fine enough for like 10, 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. My discrepancy with her is the joints and this right here that I didn't notice until after I bought it. So I don't know if the camera's picking up that well, but on her shoulder, it's like a black mark, like the plastic is, is uh, broke off somehow. I honestly don't know if I did it or if it came like this. Got it out of the box and I set it aside for a review. And I did not really like drop it or anything, so be careful with that. And like, I don't know if you saw too while I was doing that, the little uh, mark on the helmet too. So there's that too. And for her, it's harder. Her joints are a lot tighter for mine on mine for some reason. So it's especially the elbow ones. This one, yeah, this one, it, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's this one. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up that well, but it's it's tougher to to move. I can tell it's getting looser the more I do it, but I don't want to break it. Like as I was first doing it, I'm just like afraid I was gonna break it. I really like the I want designs on these rangers and she has a skirt but it's not really doesn't really hinder her uh, mobility that much since it's kind of split off here so she can do the splits and she actually has be better mobility than the male rangers because she doesn't really have a butt flap so it's just it's just hindered by the plastic instead of uh, by like the soft fabric I guess or whatever we want to call it instead of just the hard butt flap <laughs> she can kind of do the splits this way almost but that's really the only difference in a uh, range of motion uh, between her and uh, the other figures. So now onto the villains. So first here's the Tronic Foot Soldier. I only put one of his weapons on. I kind of wanted to show you how hard it is. This is the, this is the one that I had the toughest job in uh, putting the weapon in. But first here's the other weapon it came with. So they're, they're, the, they're the same. They're painted the same. Just comes with two. I'm glad it came with two. I don't know why like I, I would have been ha I would have been happy. And I would have expected just one, but it came with two. It's decently painted, as you can see. So him, I had the toughest toughest time putting the weapon on. All of the hands are kind of shaped this way, but uh, you have to get it around like this middle section. And it, as you can see, like you can't just slide it in. You have to force it in. And I didn't want to break it or anything. So I'm trying to do that now. There. There we go. 
So you might have some troubles, just, you know, be careful. Try not to break anything, do your best. And paint-wise, he's pretty good, honestly. I know, obviously, they they skipped out on some paint, but it, again, it gets the job done. I like it. Front painted pretty good. At least, I again, if I can tell a major difference, then it's bad, but I mean, for what I can tell without even seeing a reference picture, it gets the job done. It's fine. Here's his back. Decently detailed in the back, too, with all of these, I don't know, ni back nipples, I guess. Mobility-wise, uh, he's hindered by his little vest armor thing, so he can turn 360. And I'm not showing it very well, but he can turn 360, but kind of have it's kind of hindered by the little v-neck or a uh, turtleneck is what i meant to say he does have the same range of motion on the arms so it can go over here again kind of hindered by the little armor vest thing and he can have a bend at the elbow the th difference between him or the villains and the rangers is that he has no uh spread so he can't spread at all so he can only really do the splits this way he can't he does have he doesn't have anything to do this so you can really only pose him like this or like this essentially that's really the only difference i'm i don't mind so much that they did it for him but i wish they didn't do it for blaze like he's a foot soldier so it's kind of okay but i wish blaze had the same uh, leg articulation or waist down articulation as the rangers since it's it's kind of an evil ranger knee articulation same single and can swivel down here so that's really it for tronics again gets the job done and good good figure and now on to blaze who for some reason doesn't like to stand i have the same problem with the red ranger and with tronics to a lesser extent but all of them it's i think it's harder for this one too because of his n inability to like spread spread more to make him more stable it's kind of hard for me to balance him he does come with his sword, decently detailed. The handles there is detailed and the red uh, little portion of the blade is detailed. I know it's missing some paint. If this was an SH figure art, it would be missing some paint uh, up here. But it's good enough. And he also comes with, interestingly, a what I'm assuming is a Dark Cheetah Beast Blaster. I almost said blade. So I hope he actually gets this in the show and uses it because that'd be pretty cool. If he maybe he gets into one of the I was gonna say Megazord, the big robots are called Megazords in Goldbusters, but if he gets into a Megazord or I guess the big robot Tron or whatever they're called and uses a dark one, maybe steals the the Red Rangers and makes into a dark one, or maybe this is just a toy specific thing and isn't gonna be in the show. Who knows? But. There we go. It's painted the little eyes painted red to give it more detail and the little red part here and the handle. So those are the figure or the figures, the weapons that he comes with. Here's this little morpher, I guess that he uses. So decently detailed, decently painted. So instead of the little Go Busters uh walkie talkie thing, it's a little Tronics logo, I guess. And here's this helmet. I really do like the design of these. And like I said, I didn't really notice that it was missing paint like the zipper until someone pointed it out. But, it, you know, it's it's good enough. His mobility is a bit hindered by the, I mean, the, the way it's designed. So he can really only go that far. And you can see it stretches out this. So it can only go up that far. Go up this far. His head can go 360. Again, it's kind of angled downward. So it's kind of weird, but mm, it's fine. He can tilt a little bit, like the other the other rangers can too, but it's it's not enough for it to be like anything useful really. So you see that it's not much, but it's something I guess. So like the Tronics, he can't does have any spread, but he does have a single knee and can swivel down here. Like I said, have a <laughs> that wasn't even me trying to like pretend like I'm actually trying to pose him up oh see he's he's standing still right now but he's like if you don't touch him so if anything were to shake he would just instantly fall there's the review for the beast morphers uh mainline ranger figures for the main rangers red blue yellow blaze 
that didn't happen <laughs> and the Tronics figure like I said these do the job decently well except for the standing part but to be fair I was posing yellow in a in a weird pose so again be careful when buying these it might be because I bought the first like the very first ones that came out you know Hasbro new company trying to release them in time that's why I got these minor paint discrepancies I guess the job done be careful when putting weapons on and be careful with uh, you know posing them and stuff if uh, you're collecting them and displaying them because they kind of like to fall if not posed in a specific way I do wish the villains uh, came with better waist uh, articulation eh. I, I guess I'm happy to please because I'm I'm okay with it I'm disappointed but it's fine I guess we got a blaze figure and a tronic figure after all so that's it for this review hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one